So you might have heard Kalp talking about how he wanted to bring about a change and make things unique. He expressed his disappointment in the lack of innovation, even making fun of Samsung on Twitter by posting a meme about the similarity between the S23 Ultra and the S22 Ultra. However, the shocking part is that the Phone 2, which was expected to be different, ended up looking quite similar to the Phone 1. This was surprising because Kalp had made jokes about Samsung and criticized the iPhone 14 for being boring and similar to its predecessor. We all thought they wouldn't make the same mistakes as Apple and Samsung, but we were wrong. The official teaser for the Phone 2 reveals a Glyph interface, similar to the one on the Phone 1, but with some missing parts. This means there will be more individual parts, resulting in a more intricate light show and different ways to arrange and showcase the Glyph interface. Instead of a single center round LED blinking, the Phone 2 now has six separate LEDs, offering a whole new visual experience. The same concept applies to the lights near the cameras. The Phone 2 will be powered by the Day 8 Plus JN1 and will run on the Nothing OS 2 out of the box. The OS 2 is expected to be fast, minimal, and may include some UI changes. Phone 1 users can expect to receive the OS 2 update by the end of August. The surprising part is that the OS 2 might be based on a 13 instead of an A14, similar to what Xiaomi does. They develop the UI in advance based on an older OS version and then use the same UI for the new OS release. The Phone 2 is set to launch on July 11th and will be available in the US, India, Japan, and Europe. Share your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and peace out.